it is the duty of the government to see that uh, all the educational institutions and other uh, government offices has to be run as per uh, secular credentials. ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳನ್ನು ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಗೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟುಕೊಡುವಂತ ಒಂದು ಅಪಾಯಕಾರಿಯಾದಂತ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆ ಏನ್ ಹಾಕಿದೆ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ತೀವ್ರವಾಗಿ ವಿರೋಧ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಈ ಕೂಡಲೇ ಕೂಡ ಈ ಆದೇಶ ವಾಪಸ್ ಪಡ್ಕೊಂಡು watching news epicenter with me Maria Shakil the state of Karnataka finds itself gripped by another communal flashpoint right ahead of the assembly elections in a highly controversial move the Karnataka government's decision to allow the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh to hold training camps on the premises of state run residential schools has created a political storm following a recommendation by Kota Srinivas Pujari the state minister for social welfare the Karnataka Residential Educational Institution Society a government run body has given permission to an RSS affiliate to conduct training camps in the Murarji Desai residential school in the Kolar and Uttar Kannada districts the government note on the camps states that boys can join the training program which will involve physical activities personally development uh, personality development programs yoga and initiatives to promote nationalist thought as per a separate note circulated in kolar participants have been told to attend the program in complete rss uniform along with a danda for the training camp the opposition has once again accused the state government of brazenly saffronizing education while the state uh, federation of india has threatened protests remember this comes after a speech by rss founder keshav baliram hedgewar found its way into school textbook in karnataka this also comes in the wake of the hijab controversy where the state government resisted the religious attire in the government run institutions moreover the state government is revamping how tipu sultan's reign is taught and has pushed vedic maths the bhagavad gita and chapters on veer savarkar in school curriculums the basis of the education system in india is supposed to be secular but where does the line really lie in karnataka is the state government giving space to elements once sidelined in the realm of education or is this another brazen attempt to play politics by saffronizing education Joining me on the show Mahima Singh who's the spokesperson of the Congress we have Rahul Ishwar author and activist Kevin Matthew Sunny is a social activist Binay Kumar Singh author and columnist Professor Chandan Gowda is a professor at IC ISEC which is an institute for social and economic change Mahima I'm going to begin with you is the RSS holding its uh, training camp in a government school premise making a mountain out of a mole hill the organization is claiming that they did so because they wanted a large enough premise to accommodate their delegates and have paid commercial rent for it it is uh, another attempt to saturnize the, the whole education system in the country uh look at the lame excuse they are giving i mean uh that they did not have enough uh, a big enough premise because the notice that the kreis has uh, issued clearly says that boys and youth can join the training program it has been issued to the schools to the students of the schools it has been uh, clearly laid down what will be the ingredients of the training program it has been written that they have to come and complete ganavesha along with danda uh, for the training uh, camp i think uh, it is absolutely uh, unbecoming see they have uh, they were already not able to refute y- yashwant uh, shinde's uh, affidavit which came later in the month of september which uh, it, it's a seven page elaborate sworn in affidavit wherein uh, the uh, anti social rather terrorist activities of rss and all the other hindu outfits have been um, uh, you know uh, admitted to by this former a uh, head of the bajrang dal and he quite clearly tells that rss bjp vhp and other hindu outfits 
were involved in manufacturing of the bombs and engineering bomb blasts in the country to win elections and how and the bjp or the rss okay. or the bhp okay. have come out binay kumar refuse. singh and rahul ishwar rahul ishwar come in on this the charge that is coming in that why should government premises be holding such an event and why should they be allowing rss to what uh, uh, mahima uh, mahima singh of the congress is saying an attempt at indoctrination two points one what is rss rashtriya swayamsevaka sangh was started by dr keshav beliram hedgewar who was a congressman upon the call of gandhi ji you know, he fought for the non cooperation movement and khilafat movement and he was in jail for one year he later evolved into a slightly more right wing path but mahatma gandhi always respected rss he went to the stages of rss and jamaat e islam and wanted people's unity we miss especially the congress of today which is more of the nehruvian leftist secular congress is missing that gandhi and touch because gandhi ji took the names of guruji golwalkar or uh, keshav bilram hedgewar and hmm. he was inclusive of them hmm. see rss is basically a spiritual cultural social organization who has its roots in hindu dharma i am not rss i have never went to shaka but i have immense respect for rss pranab kumar mukherjee the greatest congressman in the past many decades <laughs> went to the rss headquarters and even noted down that uh, hedgewar yes. ji is a great That's son right. of india pranab mukherjee so the, fo- the former uh, president late a uh, former president mahima singh you know let me come back to you should government facility is not look at maximizing their earnings by deploying their idle infra um and using those funds to improve their facilities you know why should this be seen as an attempt at indoctrination should they maria should they do that i don't think so i think the cause of education is above uh, all of these uh, uh, material uh, benefits that that uh, uh, an educational institution doesn't stand for i th- think if the congress was doing the same thing to uh, you know hold anything or any other outfit for that matter Uh, tomorrow if another religious outfit hires a government school can a religious out, uh, uh, outfit go to hire a school premises uh, apart from the rss or other hindu outfits go to hire a school premises to conduct their uh, religious functions no they cannot hmm. uh, and that that that's clearly established in this country and what we see you know the kr eis uh, notice which i have cited earlier which you have cited in your uh, entire uh, prelude to your program it clearly establishes it clearly lays down the intention behind this training program my question is while on one hand the bjp or the rss have still not refuted the contents of yashwant shinde's affidavit here we see another controversy rising up in quite okay, a dinay kumar singh response they have hmm. in quite a two they have said we are not dinay kumar singh I mean, is, the, is the bjp deliberately wading into controversies which are being seen as the ideological push and of course there will be an ideological bash, backlash that is coming from the congress maria you know after the raid is started on pfi and post ban i can see several persons including left uh, people from congress they are quoting s1 sindhe's affidavit let me tell you hmm. affidavit no value document has value and very recently in june 2022 the kerala high court they came up with a judgment a proper judgment and they acquitted 13 rss workers for from charges of murder of cpm uh, workers and the court said that the case on the rss workers that was ideologically and politically motivated so madam if you are referring something don't refer a, a affidavit affidavit has no value i can say i can give an affidavit and i can say something about you so affidavit is no value in, in in court if any judgment is there 95 years is going to happen nearly 10 decades yeah, yeah, i think we are not a charge of even slapping anyone has been proved on the rss you know members slapping anyone leave charges of murder and terror not a charge of slapping anyone has Sir, been proved one and one more thing Arya, all the other very conveni- conveniently they try to you know saffronization of education hindu terror are baba these were the words coined at the congress and the left kitchen these were the words coined by the you know the left the extremist leftist organizations so these are not organic words they were coined they were manufactured in the congress you know uh, kitchen and always i can see you know a pattern a toolkit is there 
uh, every day in the debate i can see people like you know mahima singh they are co- quoting yes one singh there okay. who is this one singh there and what value that affidavit has okay. that affidavit has no value okay and you, you are you are dismissing an affidavit all together an affidavit is produced before the court and it is submitted in a court of law so certainly it cannot be about lies Kevin Matthew Sunny Kevin Matthew Sunny one moment Maria Maria I think yes, I, Kevin I Matthew Sunny please uh, Kevin Matthew Sunny go Ma- ahead Maria uh, I think the heaven and panelists uh, earlier told about 13 people uh, acquitted by the court in Kerala but that doesn't acquit all, all uh, the others we have and especially reading about the you think the training was based on trishul and airguns and we know how, how and why trishul were used in Gujarat and Godhra and the same no, no, but why is that being office discussed office right now i am talking uh, about uh, school what is a school you know, supposed to be doing yeah, is it so allowed for school. a school to allow its premises yeah, to be used for this purpose that is a question but, kevin matthew sunny come to the, the point why is the school being allowed to use for training based on trishul so, so it, that it must that be allowed, allowed the in the in this country where where in the students are kids are a new generation are being taught this this is not our, uh, what our country is about This is not the idea we stand for, and it is very clear that there is a BJP agenda of saffronization. Let it be the textbook contents. Let it be what uh, the RSS. Uh, Maria, let so me respond. So, being asked to come in. Uh, One moment. Yeah. Uh, go know, ahead. Go RSS ahead. RSS uniform. All this is part of uh, very clear. The writing of the wall is very clear. The BJP government in Karnataka wants an RSS saffronization, saffronization of the students of that, and this is not what our schools should, should be used for. There is absolute. Let us keep politics apart from this for uh, God's sake. This is about the new generation. No, no, this no. is about the future of this country. Yes. Vinay Kumar Maria, Singh. Yes. Vinay Kumar Singh. Uh, Bhagavad Gita chapters on Savarkar, Vedic <coughs> maths. No, no, no. What exactly is happening in Karnataka's textbooks then? Maria, ask him that. Have he ever, you know, studied Vedic maths? Hmm. Vedic maths has nothing to do with religion. that is the fastest way fastest way of uh, uh, solving logarithms and you know uh, mathematical uh, uh, solutions so without knowing you are commenting and sir what is saffronization of education aurangzeb was a villain and shivaji was a hero <laughs> this and this is a fact and this fact that <laughs> you know the generations that sir, only for you this is a fact for all of you we were studying that aurangzeb was a hero and there was no mention of shivaji So, if this is saffronization, calling Aurangzeb a villain, Shivaji is a hero. This saffronization is necessary, and this is not saffronization. This is truth. No. The, the generation and generations they have been deprived of the truth hmm. because of the you know dishonest historians, the paid uh, the, the courtiers, the courtier historians. No, no. The then in that case, uh, uh, Professor Chandan Gowda. You know, if you are looking at these arguments, uh, Rahul, I am going to come to you in just a bit because Professor Chandan uh, Gowda has not even entered this discussion. Aren't both the sides looking at this entire discussion purely from political prism? Ma Maria, education is preeminently a political matter. In yes. the sense, there is a constitution, which is a political document that says that the education system shall be in the hands of the government, not in the hands of any cultural organization. It's very clear, and the government. Do have say in what get taught, and that's what we discuss about how the BJP government in Karnataka has tried to change the content of the text, and that will be up for debate. There will be new committees questioning it. That's a separate discussion. But the fact of the matter is, public institutions, the residential schools where there are hundreds of children, um, do you want to let out the premises for the work of a cultural organization? In this case, the RSS. It will not only is it about setting a bad precedent. and keep opening the gates open for other such people from other cultural organizations the first principle should be very clear that we shall not do that because young minds are involved here and political discussions can happen elsewhere yaris has its own schools as we know private organizations can have their own things happening elsewhere but public organizations institutions schools the lines should be very clearly drawn and should be maintained that way because it's a slippery slope once you open it up to one group then it's you know it's just opening the flood gates for a whole host of other kinds of uh, requests and it's just bad yes. news for the students uh, yes. if the uh, educational climate is affected we can't let you know students uh, you know try to pick up education in a charged atmosphere yes, we okay. owe it this much to them a space of neutrality is something we should absolutely protect 
Yes, uh, Rahul Ishwar, if it is about using a facility which is lying idle or using a facility which is, uh, you know, which, which, which is for which you are getting commercial rent. But the larger question is that RSS that is, the, is a cultural so, organization. As you know, yes, yes, Mr. Gorda, yes, go ahead. Hmm. No, uh, the government does allow some of its auditoriums to be rented out. There, it's very, the functions are very clear. When you have buildings that are open for rent, they are let out for rent. But these things were not designed to be rented out. And it's government run. Let's remember, so there's always the budget that can you know, give it the money it needs to keep itself going. Education has to be top priority. We can't say there's no money. Please raise it from renting it out to other organizations. And Mari, just a quick precedent here. Hmm. Uh, almost 10 years ago, there was a Mata in the state, Swarna Holy Mata, that wanted to teach Bhagavad Gita in schools on its own. And there was some discussion then, and very quickly it was decided that that was not a good thing to allow to happen. That is a good precedent. And now we have another such incident coming up, and I think we should nip it in the bud and make it very clear that schools, state-run schools, are not to be used like this by anyone. That you know, so outside. we are talking about neutrality of school premises. Yes, and, and Rahul Ishwar, you know, when the entire hijab debate played out in Karnataka, one view was... That school is a space for scientific thinking and it is also a space where everybody should be alike in the sense that appear to be alike. It's about uh, that space in which you want to be seen with others. With the and hijab seems to be making you very distinct. Now, aren't you also, you know, it's the flip side or the other side of the argument when there is a push of this nature on the premises of a school. Mariji, let me be very uh, honest with a political answer. First, huh. Veera Savarkar was in jail for 4,000 days for you and me. So honoring our heroes or honoring our forefathers, whether they belong to left or right, is a part of our national no, But duty. how is this an we, honoring? Yeah, we, when Veera Savarkar's chapter is included in the textbook, it naturally no, no, that's, is That's a different issue. I'm talking about RSS yeah, scams yeah, on a yeah, school premise. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, yes, coming to it. Coming to it, the government has a right to rent out these facilities to any organization, maybe RSS or any other organization. If no, tomorrow, no, no, what is not a real estate company, I'm sorry. 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 We, we need, need not, not see everything with the distinction of saffronization. Third, very important point. Please remember, our secularism is pluralism. Our secularism is inclusion of every faith, not rejection of every faith. So let us go ahead with a pluralistic outlook. Yes, there need to be harmonizing, blending in, you know, purposeful merging or syncretic, synergetic attitude. That is the only way India can coexist. Whenever a Hindu thing is mentioned, suddenly Hindu phobia comes in. Whenever Muslim thing is mentioned, Islam phobia okay, comes let in. Let me let me bring that uh, question to Kevin Matthew Sunny and to Mahima as well. Uh, Kevin Matthew Sunny, yeah. it's no, no, one moment. It is one thing to disagree with the worldview, but shouldn't students be exposed to all kinds of ideas, perhaps Indic values, nationalistic thoughts, yoga, as RSS talks about, and at the same time expose them to progressive ideas and let young minds decide what is good for them and what appeals them. Maria, only one difference of opinion of in here. Tridents and air pistols are not culture. Tridents and air pistols are not yoga. Okay. Uh, children, our children, the future of this country at this age, playing around with tridents and air pistols, that is no way progressing. No, from, from where that is, is the air pistols line. coming the writing in? Writing on the wall is very clear. Vinay Kumar Singh, where, is, where are the air pistols coming in? Maria, so I, I welcome my fellow panelists. Go to the Sakha ones. You are welcome to the Sakha. It is not a closed room discussion or a closed room, you know, program. It is in open. So you go to the Sakha to understand RSS. And one more thing, Maria. Hmm. RSS and education, they have a long, you know, uh, relation. So the Vidya Bharti of RSS, they are running more than 12,000 schools. And they are teaching more than 33 schools, schools. Why do you bring Christian students? Including Muslim and Christian students, and the syllabus the 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 is in the what is the role of and and in the the school? No, compare history. So RSS, you are trying to compare the you know uh, this uh, madrasa with the uh, RSS run schools. That is not true. The schools run by RSS. They are teaching more than thirty three lakh students of all caste, all creed, and uh, community. Yes, sir. And that is all appreciated. Progressive education. That is all appreciated. What is the role of a trial and the CBSE, the school? They don't have a syllabus of their own. 
so sir i welcome you first you 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 must know about rss you are comparing rss sometime with pfi you are comparing you know hisab issue with uh, this rss thing and this is a sheer nonsense that simply proves that you know nothing about rss you know nothing about rss all you right my missing raul ishwar kevin matthew sunny binay kumar singh and professor chandan gora really appreciate your time we are slipping into a short break and uh, after that we'll be traveling to ukraine the ongoing conflict between ukraine and uh, russia the crisis in ukraine has escalated after putin's missile attack in kiev have all hopes for a dialogue now being quashed that and much more when i return stay with us